photographer. I am. She just did it in her spare time. <laughs> She's washing her mouth out with soap. She must have said a dirty word. Oh my god. first cousin is my dad and uh, growing up every year we go to the farm for Christmas and um, just the best memories like the smells the foods and all the hugs that Auntie Char would give um, just truly special but then I would also get to see my Auntie Char during summer at her cabin and every time that I would go out there we just always have the best conversations and she's just so loving and so caring and I don't have many like stories but one in particular was back when, um, back when like the uh, yellow Live Strong 
rubber bracelets came out. You guys remember those? Super popular. Um, I got obsessed with them because I was nine or ten, maybe. I don't know. And my aunt Char had a blue one that was really cool. No one had the blue one, and I really wanted the blue one. And so I said, Aunt Char, what do I got to do? And she said, if you can find me uh, a pink one, then I'll trade you for it. And so the search began, and you know, a couple months go by, and I find the pink one, and it's a great day. So next summer or Christmas, we make the exchange, true to her word, uh, as anyone would expect. And that was always my favorite one, because it smelled like you. You had a great scent, and it smelled like the farm, and I'd wear it at school, and like, I would like always smell it every now and then, and, and, it. and I still have it. I know exactly where it is, and I will never ever get rid of it. And um, it's just something that's a little piece of rubber that's so special to me because mm. Kid Randy Sharp, who's also very special. And um, and speaking for me and Maddie, we just love you so much, and um, happy to be here. Aww. I hope. Um, I hope you feel loved today because you got a lot of great friends and for a lot of really good reasons. And um, I just can't thank you enough for what you meant to me, what you've been to me, and what a centerpiece you've been in my life. For me. I'm Warren's youngest and Char's youngest. Um, A lot of good lessons, a lot of hard lessons, which are the best lessons. But um, too, too much to too much to go down the road of when time is short. But um, I just love you so much and happy birthday. Thank you. And uh, look forward to many more, many more good times. Happy birthday. because I was pregnant with Mallory, so that's how I figured out the math. Um, in all the years I've known you, you are one of the people who I have met who has the most unconditional love for others. You give, and you give, and you give. You're so caring. And when people are going through their roughest times, you're there. And I thank you for that, for me, you and Dad. I forget to call you guys after a session. So you were always there. You always called me to find out how I was doing, what was going on. And I so appreciate that. But I just love you so much. I can never thank you for everything you've done, just like everyone here. And I continue to look forward to many years of getting to know each other better and better and just being there for you. I love you. Hello, I'm Marty Weiss, uh, Char's brother-in-law. Best looking brother-in-law. <laughs> First time in London. Thank you. Since oh. I married Nancy, over 28 years ago, we started an annual tradition um, of a Weiss family beach party. If you guys don't know, I have three brothers and three sisters, 12 nieces and nephews, and all sorts of other distant relatives. So the party turns into about 40 to 60 people uh, coming on the beach and then coming up for dinner after we're done water skiing and doing everything else on the beach. And there's Char hosting it all and being the consummate gracious host. You're such a generous person for all that you do for us. Not only that, in the Christmas parties where you're hosting 30 plus people. Char, you've, you're such a generous person at heart. 
and I really appreciate all that you've done for my family, for the girls, um, Ashley, Megan, Nancy. Thank you, and happy birthday. My name's Ashley, and I'm Megan. Um, <laughs> so, we obviously, we're celebrating our lovely ear chopped out today. I, I haven't spoken into a microphone in a while, so uh, there's not a, enough words to describe how much ear chopped out means to us. I mean, when when we had to figure out scheduling to come back up here this weekend, it was an obvious, like, no-brainer. We wanted to be here to celebrate the end. It's given us so much of everything. Um, and whether it, like, likes moments, she's been there for us always. Um, some of the phone calls that we've had over the years uh, where we told her everything going on in our college experience or whenever she would call us when we were down in college, it was always like, oh, it's a great day, you know, we get to speak to Aunt Chacha for an hour, hour and a half, sometimes up to two hours, probably late into the evening, um, but Aunt Chacha always emphasized how much she was there for us and how much that we mean to her, and I can't express how, how much love and care that uh, she's given us, and uh, I'm just so grateful to have such a wonderful, selfless aunt who's just so supportive. Um, and yeah, I'm just looking forward to all the many more memories that we get to share, um, whether that's graduation in the spring, um, you know, just all these exciting memories that we're looking forward to. And so, yeah, it's just great. Happy birthday, and we're so happy to celebrate you. I apologize in advance if I can't really articulate my words well enough, but I just want to say, um, no amount of trips up here would possibly express the gratitude that we both have for you and you've been at such a central role in our lives and I mean those calls I always look forward to seeing her name pop up on my phone when I get those calls and, uh, you know from the highest highs and lowest lows she's always been the most supportive giving and generous person um, truly a blessing having you in our lives and um, as I said again uh, no, no trip and no amount of trips like up here would possibly show how grateful we are uh, for you and how much we appreciate you and um, looking forward to everything to come and celebrating you today but always celebrating you. Um, we always are so grateful for you and every time we want to make sure that we share that and show that and share it with you how grateful we are. So. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> We're all here uh, for the same reason, and of course that is we all love Char to death, and we know about her generosity. She doesn't do anything on a small scale. When she puts her mind to it, it's glorious, it's big, it's perfect, and maybe the best example of that is how beautiful their houses at Christmas time, to you know, they're at every corner. And our Christmases go back, in my case, 63 years, to a little living room in Tacoma at Granny's house and that progressed on and on. And so many memories there. One thing I think about when I think about Shard, maybe you don't, is that I came from an experience uh, out of the beach cabin again when I was probably, I don't know, eight. We're hanging out with some local boys out there. We might have BB guns, and there's this this uh, bully in the neighborhood named Pat Garmus. And we didn't particularly like him, and we rarely saw him, but he came down the driveway one time. He was older than us and kind of intimidating, and one of those guys with a big gap in his teeth and spit through him. And uh, he started picking on Danny Tooley, who was like the weakling of weaklings. And Char saw this. She came over there, because she knew Danny, we all knew Danny, but Pat Gongers is like a classic fucker. She beat the shit out of this guy verbally. And he left his tail between his legs, and I walked out of there, and I thought, whoa. And I'll never forget that. And then, when Char, when Char wants to do something, you know, and you just, you go along with it. <laughs> She's a pillar for the family, she always has been. 
Her organization is excellent. Her love is unending. And I guess I'll say happy birthday, Cheryl. We'll love you forever. Well, it's hard to uh, follow up after Hans. Uh, my name's Dan. I'm Char's and Merv's uh, great nephew. I always used to mow Char's lawn on Wednesday nights, and she'd have dinner and everything ready, and it was always a great time. We'd always have the best conversations, and uh, I work a little more now, so I don't do it every Wednesday, but it's always nice when I get to spend my time with her. So I love you, Char. Happy birthday. Any way the wind blows 